Okay, what we're going to do is talk through a Poisson's distribution. Now, I'm not going to explain when or why to use one. That's not what this video is about. It's how to calculate it with a TI-84 calculator. Videos like how to use Poisson's, how to use binomial, when to use what, those will come in the future. Right now I'm focusing on calculators and how to use them. Okay, so I'm going to zoom this in a little bit because we need to be able to see the problems. Like always, this document will be in a link so you can read it, you can download it, print it, and read it, and work along with me. Okay, now it says the average number of homes sold by Acme Realty Company is two homes per day, which probably exactly three homes will be sold tomorrow. Right here we have the average. The calculator is going to call that lambda, okay? Right here, we have exactly three homes. This is going to be X. Now, if there's a single value for X, that means we're going to use Poissons PDF. We won't do CDF, all right? Now, I do have a TI-84 here, an older 84. So we'll go over how to do it on this as well as the newer 84 as we work through this. Now, for both calculators, you get the Poissons by hitting second, which is up here. And then you hit D-I-S-T, which is right next to Claire. It's quicker to hit the up button on this one. Then we hit up to Poisson's PDF. Now on the newer calculators, when you press enter on that, it asks, oh, they changed it. That's interesting because the 84 the, I have like this downstairs that's black has a mu there. Not a mu, a lambda there. It has this symbol there. Now it's a mu. Interesting that they changed that. Okay, but yours might have a mu there. This one here, when you do it, you hit second distribution and scroll up to Poissons. It's not going to look like that. That's all it does. It sticks that on the screen. So we'll come back to this one in a minute. Now we already said the average is 2. Our x value will be 3. So we hit 3. We hit paste. Now it puts that on the screen, and that shows you what you should be typing over here on this one. On this one, you know, let me move this up so everyone can see it a little bit better. On this one, you have to type in the mean, comma, the standard deviation. So it'd be two, comma, three. So I hit two, hit the comma sign, and three, and press enter. And it tells me the probability of this is 0.180447. And if I press enter on this one, I'm gonna get the same answer. Because they, while they are looking different, they are still basically the same calculator. This one's just got a prettier screen. It's smaller. It's rechargeable. This one's not. I prefer the bigger screen because I'm blind. Eh, whatever. Moving on, let's go to the next one. Let's talk about how this works on the next problem. Okay. Suppose the average number of lines seem on a one-day safari is five. What is the probability of tourists see fewer than four on the next one day safari? So again, it tells me my average is five, which is mu on this calculator. Some of the 84s have it as lambda, so don't be confused. Okay, so my average equals five. And they want to see fewer than four. Now this is going to be a little bit different. That means X is going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Fewer than 4 doesn't include the 4, so I wouldn't count the 4. Okay? Now this is going to be Poisson's PDF. It's not going to be, no, not PDF. Oops, mistake on camera. CDF. It's going to be Poisson's CDF. Okay? P stands for point, C stands for cumulative. I'm cumulating X's, so I need cumulative. Now this Poisson's cumulative always runs from, it, uh, it counts 0 to x. So it can be a little tricky to use this. I'd prefer that as start and stop, but they didn't build that into the calculator command for some reason. 
So we're going to pull this up. We get it the same way. We hit second. Let me stand up. We hit second distribution. You can see it right there. We press the up button and we're going to Poisson CDF. And it looks the same. It says mu and X bar. Mu on this one again was four. Our X value was three because we're counting up to three. And you can see it right here. My average is five, my mu is three. We hit paste and press enter one more time. And I'm getting 0.43347, okay? Now on the older calculator, when you do this, you need to have on the screen Poissons, CDF, and this will be four comma three, okay? In other words, it's going to end up looking exactly like this one does. So I'm going to hit second distribution, hit the up button to Poisson CDF. Now I have to eventually type four. The comma is right above the seven there. And then three and press enter. And you see I'm getting the same answer. Okay. So we get the same answer with both calculators. Again, this one just looks a little different. They were trying to improve this one. And sometimes I don't think it was necessarily an improvement, okay? For example, it's all real shiny and sometimes hard to see on this camera. And I even put an anti-glare coating on it. It's still kind of glary. But this one, yeah, you can almost see it all the time. Let me quit ranting. Let's go on. There's two more of them on here. And let's get both of them done. So this video isn't 40 minutes long. If electrical power failure occurs according to Poisson's distribution, the average of three failures every 20 weeks, calculate probably there be no more than one failure during a particular week. Okay, one of the things about Poisson's is this average is shiftable. So if it gives the average for 20 weeks and I need one week, we can adapt to it. Okay, so my average per week will be the three divided by 20. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate that with a calculator. Okay, so I'm just doing 3 divided by 20 here. Let's find out what that is as a decimal. It's 0.15. So my average of Poisson's is 0.15. Okay, and it says no more than 1. No more than 1 means I can't go over 1, so my x value is 0 and 1. Okay, now that corresponds with what CDF does. So I get to just straight up use CDF, no worries about it. So I'm going to do what Poisson's CDF. And for the older calculator, I'm going to type in 0.15 comma 1. On this one, it's going to look a little bit different. So I hit my second distribution. Hit the arrow button up to Poisson CDF. Press enter my mu and here on this calculator you can do it on the other one three divided by 20. you can type that in there you notice the calculator left it i didn't expect that our x value is one we go to paste calculator left it press enter and i'm getting point nine eight nine eight for this one should get the same answer here hit clear second vars hit the arrow up to Poisson CDF now here I can still do the same thing I can type 3 divided by 20 comma and then 1 close parenthesis you don't have to close that parenthesis press enter I'm getting the same answer okay so both calculators work the same way they just look a little bit different you can do this on ti-83 but the ti-83 screen looks exactly like this one in fact there isn't a lot of difference between this one and the 83 other than it's faster <laughs> it's faster it has a little bit more memory too but we'll talk about that later all right one more what's it probably getting more than two failures in a week okay so we're sticking with the average of 3 over 20, or 0.15. But more than 2, that means x is 3, 4, 5. It keeps going, okay? That doesn't match what we're doing here. So what we're going to have to do is total minus don't want. 
So our total will be 1 because the total for all probability is always 1. What I don't want will be x equals 0, 1, and 2. So this would be 1 minus Poisson's CDF of 0.15 comma 2. Okay, so we're going to have to type it in like that. So let me get this calculator here. Let's clear the screen. Now, since I'm doing a 1 minus, I have to type 1 minus, then hit my second distribution. Hit the arrow up to Poisson CDF. Okay, the 3 over 20 is still there, but this time I'm going to change that to 2. I hit paste. Notice it now says 1 minus like I wrote on the paper. Press enter, and I'm getting 0 .0005. Okay, on this old 84, it's going to work the same way. You're going to hit 1 minus. Now I can hit my second VARS, go up to Poisson's CDF. I can type the 0.15 comma 2, just like I did in the other one. Press enter, and I'm getting the same answer. Same answer I wrote down there. Okay, I hope some of you find this helpful. There's a quick guide on how to use Poissons in the TI-83, I mean TI-8384, because that one old 84 works the same as the new 84s. And I hope you find this useful. Have a good day.